Hey there, this is David Lohman and this is Lohman Logic. Today I want to talk to you about your governing values. Now, hopefully at this point in your life you've figured out some of your governing values. And if you haven't, you need to do that. And <laughs> you need to figure out, I don't know, maybe about a dozen of them. And all of these governing values should be represented by one word. And let me show you how we can use these things in our lives because I think I've got something interesting for you that's just a little bit unique that you're going to enjoy learning this lesson. Let's pick one that's kind of easy. Anything you want. Well, anything I want because I'm the one that's going to talk to you about it. So we're going to talk about the governing value of loyalty. So you say, yeah, you know what? Loyalty is good. We all want to be loyal. And so loyalty is a good one. I want that to be part of my governing value. Okay, that's good. Define that for me. Now, most people will start to define loyal, meaning says you're there for your friend. You're always going to be there for your friend and you don't choose another. And then they'd stop right about there. But you know, there's a lot more depth to that word loyalty. How about the fact that you're going to be there when that friend needs you? How about the fact that when that friend calls you up and you think that, oh, this is ridiculous, you don't need me for this, but they think that they do, that you're going to be there for them? How about when somebody else wants to come up and size you the same product that they do for about a 20% discount? What are you going to do? See, loyalty comes in there to where you don't break a trust between you and another person and you maintain that trust in spite of all odds. You see how more in depth loyalty becomes? And so we need to develop the definition for each one of our governing values and do it so deeply. And once we get that governing value, choose that one week and take that governing value and make sure that you use that governing value all week long. Here's where it becomes extremely unique. Most people will take a look at themselves at the end of the day and they say, did I exhibit loyalty today? And a lot of times they're going to say yes. And I'm going to tell you truthfully, a lot of times you're going to say no. You're going to find areas where you have chinks in your armor. You know why? Because you're human and you don't think about it very much. I'm going to show you how to lessen that from happening. As I said, at the end of the day, you look back. Was I loyal today? That's about history. You want to use this governing value to be something that guides you in your life. What if you wake up first thing in the morning and you take a look at your schedule and you think to yourself, how can I show loyalty today? And so you're using your governing value in advance to make sure that the decisions you make all day long are governed by that value. It makes a whole lot of difference. Now think this through just a little bit and you'll see the importance of this right away because you've got all these other ones. You've got honesty, you've got trust, you've got all of these different governing values that you can be using, but use them in advance to determine your behavior before it happens. And you'll start to see that at the end of the day, when you say, how did I do? You'll find that you did a lot better. It's really, really important because if they're truly your governing values, you want to make sure that they are governing you not that, they're, that, that you're being responsive to it later and looking back and saying, hmm, I could have done better. Remember, that's regret. And if you think you could have done better to a really good friend or to a business person or to just anybody, then you should have done a little bit better planning. This is David Lohman. This is Lohman Logic. I hope you liked this video. Be sure and like it down below there and share it with a friend. Subscribe. And if you have any comments, be sure and put that in there too because I want to know what you're thinking. And also, is there anything else that I can answer for you in a future video?